Yeah, this is my first time I've ever been on a plane and in the airport. I ain't never been in the airport. Okay. From the start since we got down here, I've been comparing the two in my head. Like, Jackson seems very more rural and like, spaced out and from from Baltimore it's, it's very close together and like compact you know you see a lot of people walking in Baltimore and you hardly see anybody walking down here and then like another thing is here there's still some historical monuments that are still that are still um, up right now in Baltimore I don't really see any on a daily basis so Um, going to the Civil Rights Museum, it was, I learned a lot more than what I was actually told. I learned a lot more about Mississippi and what actually happened here. Cause it's like, you will hear a lot of things from like, you know, reading the textbooks and all that, but it's nothing like actually learning it from where it actually originated from. So it was like a good learning experience and everything. And then we went to Offbeat and I just saw that everybody in Jackson they, it's a small place, but every, it's a family community. And everybody here wants something big for their community. So everybody has a plan and big goals. And that inspired me to actually come to Mississippi a little bit more. Um, so once Forest Hill um, uh, was a high school, I thought the high school was pretty good. I felt like it wasn't as packed as my school. It was nice, the kids were cool, the teachers were cool, and I got along well with them. Going to Jackson and Tougaloo, it was really a nice experience because they really explained how HBCUs are like really communal, especially for black folks. Like I like to see a lot of people of my color makes me feel like, you know, at home, comfortable and everything. So like, that's something that I really would like to consider. Like, it really did inspire me to want to go to an HBCU college. has a very rich history and social justice and civil rights are embedded in the institution's DNA. I feel like Tugela spoke more to me than um, JSU only because um, of they don't have a track team and so I run track and the whole idea of putting your team on the map kind of inspires me and kind of makes me want to like be a team leader. I like how everybody's tight knit and it's just a little community. Like you can see everybody really cares about like Mississippi, Jackson, Mississippi, and I just love that. Put your heart up, Dominic. What else to Yeah. Yeah. We're coming here. We're coming here. So I have learned that although we are separated by distance, that does not mean that we have a whole bunch of differences. Actually, I found that we have a lot in common, whether it be educational experiences, the foods that we eat, or even TikTok videos. I know that, you know, we share a lot of that and have a lot of acquaintances. I'm really gonna miss this program, basically because it taught us how to interact with people, um, not just from different countries or from different um, cities or anything, but just even in real life, how to deal with those people and also how to communicate, learn more from them um, each and every day. So 